Hi everybody, welcome back to another pretty thoughtful ASMR video. My name is Sam. Um, I always forget to actually introduce myself in my videos, but hi. <laughs> Today I wanted to do another tarot reading for you. And I'm actually going to be doing a pick a card reading. So I'm going to be pulling three cards and placing a crystal on top of each card and then asking you to have a look at those cards and crystals and decide which one speaks to you. We've got some crazy wind going on today and rain and also is snoring in the background as usual so there's going to be lots of sounds I, um, I don't have a nice quiet setup I'm afraid and this camera is really white noise heavy personally I like it but it's not for everyone so I understand um, so yeah we're going to be going through the Hermetic deck today. Um, I tend to use the Wild Unknown deck a lot because I love the colours and the imagery, but the Hermetic Tarot deck is the first one that I got and also really intricate and um, really detailed. So. In a few seconds you are going to see a selection of cards and crystals and I'm going to ask you to just take a moment to decide which one speaks to you and then take a look in the description to see what timestamp to click to for your personal reading. So if you picked the Amethyst, then this is your reading. Your card is the Daughter of the Flaming Sword, Fortitude. see the sign of Leo you can see the sign of Leo um, in the upper right corner of this card um, and a rose with five petals which signifies the fifth sign in the zodiac the female figure of fortitude represents the mastery of the lower by the higher. Her feet are planted firmly on earth and she controls the lion in a manner similar to the soul holding passions in check. Leo is a fire sign and fortitude is shown holding in her right hand a cup spewing flame. Here is the joy of strength exercised showing complete ease, self-possession. This card also depicts a lion on the shield of fortitude, which is, its meaning is persevering strength and energy. So this card really represents um, strength and power over things both in the physical realm and the um, emotional realm, so this is basically the dominance of mind over matter in a way. Um, so if you've been struggling with control, now is the time to kind of realise that you are in control um, and 
just be, be brave, basically, yeah. You have bravery inside yourself, um, you have perseverance, and, you know, you are the master of whatever it is you're trying to do. So, lean into it. And, and keep going because you are you're doing the right thing and you're on the right path. So you chose the rose quartz. Your card is the Chariot, Lord of the Triumph of Light. So at the top of this card appears the sign of Cancer, and between the Sphinxes, bottom appears the sign of the crab. The charioteer's garments are made of chain mail and steel, giving protection similar to that of a crab shell. The four pillars reach up into the sky of Bina, and the ten stars represent the stars of Isaiah, the material world. The wheels of the chariot represent the energy of Geburah. At the centre of the card is the Holy Grail. The card depicts the chariot of Hermes drawn by two sphinxes, Jachin signifying love and Boaz signifying power. Thus the sphinxes represent power and love held under control. The chariot is not in motion because this card represents equilibrium. The figure of a crowned Hermes erect in his chariot controls with magical sword and wand the powers of good and evil thus maintaining a state of absolute equilibrium. So this card is all about triumph, victory, perseverance, health, success, though temporary, and a possible voyage. So you can see the, the power held by Hermes in his chariot. Um, he is in complete control. So, to me what this represents is um, a project that you may be working on. Um, whether that be in your personal life or at work. Um, and you are, you're feeling it, you know, you're really, really in control of the situation. You are managing your time well you are um, you're ready for whatever else is thrown at you um, everything you have planned has fallen into place and you're basically being the boss which is great but something that I think is really important about this card is this sense of um, impending movement so like the book that I read said, um, the, the potential for travel. A chariot, whilst stationary, has the potential to move, so I think it's important to prepare yourself for the fact that whatever it is you're working on, or if you are planning anything, um, those plans may shift. You may hit a bump in the road. Um, with whatever projects you're working on and the project is going to move in some direction and that may be good or bad like at the moment you're in equilibrium but obviously that means there is the potential to fall on either side of the scale so I think be prepared for that um, don't worry too much, whatever the next movement of your chariot may be, um, I think you're going to be okay, but 
but just prepare yourself for what's coming. Things, things can't stay stationary and in this state of equilibrium um, or just stasis forever. So enjoy this whilst it lasts and prepare yourself for the change that's coming. So you chose the clear quartz. Your card is the Three of Wands, the Lord of Established Strength. So this card depicts a hand issuing from heavy clouds holding the three wands in the centre, two crossed ones and one upright. Flames emanate from the junction and from both sides like gigantic pillars. The centre wand has a sun at the top and the head of a ram representing Aries at the bottom. The symbol for the sun and Aries are shown. This card pertains to the, the second decan of Aries ruled by the sun, thus sun and Aries. The meaning of this card is established force, strength, acumen, realization of hope, completion, success, nobility, wealth, and power. So to me, this card represents um, being in control, um, you know, being the person that has maybe a few things on the go at one time somebody that likes to juggle tasks or multitasking um, and you know and you're really good at it so you're in control of your situation um, you are a powerful person and what you're working on the tasks that you are working on simultaneously um, they will come to fruition um, there is a sense of completion to this card, so, you know, these, these pillars are rising up and the sun at the top, that is, um, you know, just like the, the shining light over the projects that you've got going at the moment. So everything that you are doing, everything that you are juggling and working towards will actually come to fruition. Um, have faith in what you're doing and um, you know, keep a firm grip on your tasks and you know, just persevere because no matter what's going on around you, you are steady, you are sure and you know, everything is going to work out. This is a really good card to have. So if you've been struggling with all your tasks or everything that you're juggling and thinking that you know it's pointless and you're never going to make it or complete whatever it is you're trying to complete, have faith and keep going because you will. Today's readings have been really interesting. Um, they all pertain to this idea of being in control and having the strength and the power within ourselves to succeed. Um, and I think that that's really positive particularly this year everything's kind of been up in the air and I know personally I've been finding um, working on projects really difficult and for most of the year I wasn't really able to complete anything that I was doing and this month for some reason I've felt this kickstart of energy and I have been working towards goals and that's things like um, physical challenges, like doing more yoga and trying to um, eat a bit healthier. And I've really been doing great with that. And personally, I write a lot. And for the most of this year, I wasn't able to do that. And I'm currently working on a project which is going really well. Um, I also wasn't able to read a lot this year and I've been able to pick up books again. 
So um, this reading for me is actually really positive. Just personally that we can put 2020 and maybe the inactivity that we had behind us and see that um, all of the efforts that we've been putting recently show us how much of the control we actually have um, despite not feeling it previously and um, if we persevere and believe in ourselves and our strengths then we will get to where we want to be so hopefully this reading was fun um, I'm not really used to this deck so for me um, I should really be doing elements and stuff but um, for me I'm still learning how to interpret the cards they are very in depth they have a lot of angelic signs and um, a lot of planetary symbols and also Hebrew words and names so it's really complex and I'm really enjoying doing more readings with it and trying to determine what the cards are saying I rely heavily on the book that I have with it, but I think that when doing tarot readings, people tend to think that they shouldn't rely on the book and they should only rely on intuition, but if somebody's worked hard enough to write the interpretations in a book, I think we should take those into consideration. Our intuition is um, overcast by our own personal workings. <laughs> so, hopefully, you enjoyed this short video, and I will see you next week. Um, I have a couple of good video ideas that I'm going to be working on. Um, so excited to film them and get them out there for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to and leave me a comment to say what card you got and whether it's been helpful.